Uh, let's take a look at what is next. As mentioned, 6 and 0 Panthers coming up a week from tonight. Monday night football, you can see it right here on RTV6. And the Panthers took, uh, took care of business on Sunday night football, beating the Eagles 27 to 16. Cam, there he is, 197 yards, one touchdown throwing, one touchdown running. He also had uh, uh, four carries for 20 yards. Jonathan Stewart, look at this, 24 carries for 125 yards. Ted Ginn Jr., five catches, 59 yards. And uh, Kawan Short uh, was just unbelievable last night. Eight tackles, three sacks. Phil Orban is a sports anchor at WSOC, the ABC television station down in Charlotte, North Carolina. And he joins us on the phone lines this afternoon. Hi, Phil. Looks like you've got, uh, I mean, 6 0 teams, fun to cover, right? It's a lot better than this time last year when they were in the middle of a six game <laughs> losing streak. So, yeah, we're, we're, we're pretty happy right now. How good is this team? Is this really a 6 0 team, uh, or are there holes that uh, perhaps the Colts can take advantage of on Monday night? It's a it's a pretty good team. I mean, I think they had all the question marks answered in that win at Seattle a couple of weeks ago. Um, and then last night, you know, last night was a game where, you know, you're in prime time and you're coming off that big win against the Seahawks and, and you're kind of primed for a letdown and they didn't play great and they still beat a team that's pretty good. Yeah. So I think, I think when you don't have your best stuff and you can still beat a team that's pretty good, I, I think you're legitimate. I mean, I, I think they're I think they're as good as any of these unbeaten. Hey, hey Phil, Jim Sorge here. I I just want to ask a question. Like you cover this team, how do you beat this team? I mean, what, what do you have to do? I watched them last night, and the defense looked phenomenal. Not even, not Keekly. I mean, some names short, yeah. short, and, and then there's another linebacker, and I got to do my home a little Thomas bit more. Davis, yeah, he just looked phenomenal on defense. The secondary looked really good coming down, flying around. How do you score points on this team? And then how do you stop that offense? First of all, you have to take advantage of the mistakes. That, that's the one thing. Cam threw three picks. Really, only one was his fault. He threw three picks and they got six points off of it. And, and when that field closes down um, and there's not room to operate, it's really tough to score on them. I think the, the one question mark going in, um, they lost uh, Frank Alexander um, to an Achilles injury in the preseason. Charles Johnson's hurt. They, the question mark was that pass rush, and I think they got something out of K.K. Short that, that they always knew was there, but he's been a monster. So they have the pass rush. Josh Norman has turned into one of the elite lockdown cornerbacks in the NFL. Guys aren't thrown to his side anymore. Um, and then everybody knows the linebackers. I mean, the, Thomas Davis and Luke Keekley are, are two of the best to do it so you know to see what they can do at all three levels of the defense has been pretty fun to watch getting Luke Keekley back is probably meant everything for that defense is it not oh it's, I mean it's huge it's huge I mean he he's the quarterback of that defense he yeah. sets everything up he sees everything so well he's pursuing angles that haven't developed yet I mean it, it's it's remar it's just remarkable to watch him work um, you know, when you're up in that press box, you can kind of see everything just to see the way he moves and, and see him make the checks and the calls. And he's so rarely out of position, so very rarely out of position. That long, um, that long touchdown run the Eagles had last night, it was so surprising because he over-pursued and, and opened up that cutback lane, and he just doesn't do that. So to have a guy like that back, I mean, it's been huge. Well, you have, you have Benjamin get hurt. Uh, in the preseason, he's out for the season. Everybody's worried about it. he's not going to have any weapons to throw to. You know, I mean, uh, Greg Olson is what he is. Uh, the backs, you know, are doing a good job. I think Cam is picking up the slack, but who else has kind of stepped uh, stepped their game up? Is it T Ted Ginn Jr.? I, who else do they have? I mean, you can tell that Ted Ginn's happy to be back in Carolina. The thing that Roman Harper said, their safety said last week, that was really interesting was he said that losing Kelvin has helped Cam work through his progressions more in that last year he would try to force things into Kelvin that weren't there because he's a big body he can help you out he can make the catches so he's been able to connect it, it looks and Cam didn't necessarily agree with this but there there may be something there in that he's working through his progressions he's finding different receivers and it's a little bit of everybody I mean, Greg Olson has had huge games Ted Ginn Jr. has had huge games Philly Brown has made some catches. Yeah. Devin Funches will have three drops of, of easy passes in the first three quarters and come up with two huge catches, you know, real tough ones in Seattle. I mean, 
those are the type of things that winning teams just do when you don't really have an answer for it. They just kind of do them. And you look up at the end of the game and you're like, oh, that was a big play by a guy you didn't necessarily expect to make a big play. It's funny. We've been talking about the Panthers. We haven't brought up Greg Olson yet, who I think is a tremendous <laughs> tight end. Yeah. Uh, maybe one of the best uh, right now, maybe outside of Gronk uh, with the Patriots. But uh, w- tell me about, because we're flying down on Sunday, what are we running into fan-wise in Charlotte? Is everybody on board, or is it kind of like Bengals fans were like, hey, they're pretty good, but let's kind of wait and see how things are going to play out here? No, I think everybody's on board. I think, I think, again, I keep going back to that Seattle win, but I think that made a believer out of a lot of people. Um, and then last night in Sunday Night Football, you know, the expectation was Philly fans are going to come in and kind of take over this place and be loud and, and you know, do their thing. And it, it really didn't happen. I mean, you know, there were Philly fans there, but it wasn't the, it wasn't the type of thing we may have seen in years past. I, I do. I have one last question. You know, Stewart is kind of the main guy in the backfield. Where does where does Tolbert fit in? I mean, is he your inside the your third down guy? Maybe short yardage inside the five guy? Because I saw he scored a couple touchdowns yesterday. He made a phenomenal play on that one. He caught the ball in the flat, made a guy miss, and then took a couple Philly guys in the end zone. Where does he fit in that offense? Yeah, you're right. I mean, he, he can do a little bit of everything, though. I mean, he's definitely the short yardage guy. You know, he's the bowling ball that kind of pinballs around and and get three, four, five extra yards. Um, and that, that play that he made was kind of vintage Mike Tolbert, right? Comes out of the backfield, makes the catch, <laughs> makes the guy miss, runs over another guy, and scores. I mean, that, you know, Jonathan Stewart's the, the tough, physical, downhill runner, and, and Tolbert is kind of the same way, but, um, but he can do a little bit more out of the backfield as well. Last thing, Phil, I'm, I'm hoping, I'm not sure where they have all the local TVs do their – what we call live shots or live broadcasts before games, but I'm hoping it's somewhere close to where the Panthers come out because I really want to size up Cam Newton to see if he's this act, the six six Adonis that I think that everybody thinks he is. I mean, is, is yeah, is he big? The first the, the first time you see him, you're gonna you're gonna be surprised. I'll say that because <laughs> like you know how big he is, but then you see him for the first time and you know he's in his pads and he's got his you know he's got his rope protector on, so his chest looks a little bit bigger and. <laughs> yeah, you know, he's got the he's got the he's got the shiny cleats on, and, and you know, Superman. He's uh, it's he, I, I will tell you, no matter what you're ready for, you will be surprised. Yeah, he's like a tight end playing quarterback. It's not fair. <laughs> I, th- I think I might wear my rib protectors on Monday night too, just to, just in case. <laughs> hey, uh, Phil, look forward to meeting you in person, and uh, we'll see you down there next Monday night. Thanks. This sounds great. Thanks so much. All right. Guys. Thanks a lot, Phil Orban, uh, right. sports anchor down at WSOC Channel Nine, the ABC station down in Charlotte, North Carolina.